Hey kiddos. Your boy Carl is back to party. Hey guys, I'm back! Hold on, I gotta do my famous jig. <laughs> Whoa! Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ryan Reacts to My Little Ponies. Hashtag on the quest to find Scootaloo. Because nothing else matters in life till I see the beast that is named Scootaloo. Nothing else matters! Once I found out that there is an actual pony named Scootaloo. Nothing else matters. I don't care about all the other ponies. All I care about is Scootaloo! Because there's a pony named scoot a -loo. So I've decided to make this journey the quest to find Scootaloo, the character that Hobo Ryan needs to know. He needs to know if he likes Scootaloo. Because it doesn't matter if they're evil or good. Because there is no action that will match the absolute power of the name Scootaloo. If there is footage of the creators getting together to create the name Scootaloo, you need to send it to me. Also, if her name is not pronounced like Scootaloo, I don't care. <laughs> A lot of times I say names wrong, and you guys correct me. The Pyra Pira effect. Uh, I called her Pyra, her name was Pira, even though I could hear them say it. Uh, this time, I don't care. <laughs> if I have to, I will actually redub every time somebody says her name to Scootaloo. Well, Ryan, maybe you just like it because it sounds like Squadala from the Zelda CDI. Shut your mouth! You're, you're kind of right. But it's better. Because it's Lou. So if you're wondering where this came from, folks, and why Ryan is looking for Scootaloo, it's because in a video I did of cupcakes, uh, I accidentally saw a video on the side that said, Evil Scootaloo! Also, there's a video down here that's a million called, Ask Evil Scootaloo? And I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a made-up character because the name is Scootaloo. But then I did a stream where I talked about it and I was confirmed that Scootaloo is indeed an actual pony. And then I ejaculated. But enough about Scootaloo. It's about today. And today is episode five, Griffin the Brush Off. So I can only assume that this episode is going to be plagued by a griffin. Owner of Gryffindor. <laughs> right, just put the owner of Gryffindor. There you go. There you go. This, this the griffin going to show up. What a, what a crazy scamp. Of course, folks, if you like to check out the original video, you can find it on Netflix, check it out at the Hub Network, or you can purchase it on Amazon. And guys, if you enjoy these videos, please support the original content creator so I can continue to do this. Though I do know that there is a very, very small percentage of people who are watching this who have not seen My Little Ponies. And then 99% of you guys have watched it about 74 times. <laughs> it's just like when I watched Ruby. I knew full well that the people who were watching me react to this were all people who have watched Ruby. I feel like that's something that people don't realize when they talk shit about reaction YouTubers. Even though this is a very cut up version, so it's 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 not like, you know, the, the full video. Uh, but I, I think people forget that the people who watch reactors are people who are big fans of what they're reacting to. And they love it so much that they want to see people watch it and they want to see what their reactions to the series is and that pretty much is the very essence of reaction youtubing uh not just someone stealing someone's content and just saying they're like a dope <laughs> which some youtubers do but you know what i mean uh, anyways let's just get into the video folks i gotta see what this griffin's about i hope 
It's a hideous monstrosity. Also, there's an M. It's a hidden code, isn't it? It's a hidden code Celestia put in that thing. She's, it probably means... Mm. <laughs> oh god, it's pink! The M stands for Pinkie Pies. Mmm. <laughs> freaking Pinkie Pie. You freaking weirdo, alright? <laughs> Stop writing M's after you kill people. Oh no, what'd she pull out? Her, her innards? This is what happens. I, yeah, I've only got myself to blame for this. For I just watched that cupcake video, even though this episode is probably way ahead because, you know, the, uh, the early access stuff. Um, but it's got me on edge, folks. Because now I fully expect Pinkie Pie to just shiv the shit out of someone. But of course, then again, let's look at the, the images. Here's the scary picture that I saw that, uh, was from the video. That's pretty scary. That's spooky stuff. Uh, and, uh, here's the picture I'm looking at right now. See? There's no correlation- you got there, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> because, because as everyone knows, eating ponies, that's what makes you fat. <laughs> Not cupcakes. Actual cupcakes. <laughs> and cake. No. No. It's eating your friends. That's what makes you fat, folks. <laughs> I saw the videos! Come on! I'm not gonna eat you! Oh! I find it hard that she couldn't see a mountain. Every time I watch this uh, opening, I think to myself, what is the most inappropriate thing to do at the time? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I freaking love this opening. I'm just constantly punching my dick. This is not, this is, oh god, oh god. It's really hard to punch yourself in the dick while listening about friendship. <laughs> I just realized something. She's jumping like a Pepe Le Pew. Where are you, my stutch dear cat of love? Is this whole thing a Pepe Le Pew freaking joke? Is Pinkie Pie gonna fuck her? Is she French? <laughs> it totally is! Okay. Over to the right! No, no, a little to the left! <laughs> Pinkie Pie's that friend that it's like, we're gonna have so much fun cleaning out my house! Except she's even more messed up. She's like, I want clouds moved. Pinkie Pie, your OCD is the real monster here. Perfect. Now wait for my signal. Is this a prank? Are we pranking Spike? Oh, yes! Yeah! That'll teach them, boys! Go back to the camp. You're not hard, are you? We just tried to. Did Spike send me porn? <laughs> wow! Look at all these BBW pictures hitting me on the head! Spike, what is this? You can't send God your BBW pictures? whole episode's gonna be a prank YouTube channel, isn't it? <laughs> it's just gonna be like loud music. Boom, 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 boom. Hey everyone, my name's Pinkie Pie. I'm here with my best friend Rainbow Dash, and we're gonna totally gonna prank some people. Ah! Oh, help! Oh, I can't get this oh, I may have been overkill. Is she even home? I don't know. 
Oh, oh, I am so ready for this prank. <laughs> she made her a crack addict. <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. Did they just boom boom her butt? <laughs> oh, oh, invisible ink. Ha 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 That was a cure for cancer, though. Oh, Spike ain't gonna make it now. Hey, that's not a bad idea. You can actually sell those. Um, well, I guess people don't want to eat paint. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> we're gonna watch her get triggered, aren't we? We need another victim who's made of tougher stuff. So, who's again? Luckily, her brother Tougher Stuff's here. <laughs> I'm freaking beat up a squirrel. <laughs> tougher Stuff, can you stop beating up animals? He owe me lunch money. Tougher Stuff, I'm just misunderstood. My mama didn't love me. He didn't leave. Love both of us. Tougher stuff. Didn't love both of us. <laughs> wow, that was sad. <laughs> ah, that a common side effect of doing the crack cocaine. <laughs> oh, are you telling me the Griffin's actually a bad influence? Most Griffins are. The reason I smoke pot is because of Griffins. Even the Griffins thick. I just don't know anymore. I just pranked the ground. But Dash, you promised me we'd get a flying session in this morning. Yeah. Uh, please don't call it session. You know, just catch up with you. <sighs> Later. It's okay, Pinkie Pie. You still got me. I'm gonna leave you too. Go. Oh boy. I think the high altitude is making you dizzy. Whoa! Next thing you know, her boyfriend, Rough and Stuff, is gonna come and beat her up. I forgot the name of the pony already. <laughs> I don't like this Pinkie Pie! Her color's pink and I don't like the color pink! Because I'm a fickle human being. I mean, pony. I'm not secretly Mondo. Something about being as busy as a bee. Ha ha ha, puns, wow. Nothing makes you more 80s bully than puns. You made her tippy toe in rage. I gotta take care of a few weather jobs around here. Shouldn't take long. Just hang out in town and I'll come find you. Wait, so Rainbow Dash actually has a job to control the weather? Why didn't she just let the weather do that? No! Anything but her! Grandma Apple Bottoms! I will never forgive you. Never forgive you. Everyone else didn't know it was a joke either, Pinkie Pie. Why don't you just watch where you're going, stupid? <laughs> wow. I, I... Griffins, am I right? <laughs> I'm going back to Slytherin. Ugh, I can take it, but no one treats Fluttershy like that. Yeah! She's the only pony that matters. And wait till Rough and Stuff hears about this. You freaking messing with my sister girlfriend of mine? I'm gonna have to listen to some metal music and think about my feelings. You know what, Gilda? You know what you've done? You made me realize that rarities 
It's still pretty bad. <laughs> the show's got me rooting for Pinkie Pie. I never thought I'd see the day. But it's quite enjoyable to see her get back at Gilda the Guild girl on her period am i right guys <laughs> not much rhymes with gilda all right shut up i don't like how spike was like off screen <laughs> spike stop eating my vagina sorry Grant gilda i can't help it i'm such a prankster I'm so glad I know now when I strangle Pinkie Pie in my fantasy, she goes, They're a bit of dweebs. <laughs> I mean, she's kind of right there. Cool is the word I'd use to describe Rainbow Dash. You know, Gilda, I was the one who set up all those weak pranks at this party. Ow! 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 My life is ass. I should have known that Dribble Cup had Rainbow Dash written all over it. She's a candy ass. Pinkie Pie, she set up this party to trip me up. To make a fool what the frick, cameraman? I didn't even notice this time. These asses are sneaking. The sneaky ass. And you sure didn't need any help making a fool of yourself. Pinkie Pie needs to go to the hospital. You decide not to be lame anymore. Give me a call. Not cool. Wow. Wow, he got rainbow bashed. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry, everybody. They're sneaking! Why are these butts sneaking on my screen? I'm really sorry she ruined that awesome party you put on for her. There's more pressing matters than this! I'm scared. I think they're sneaking. I think they're coming in real life. <laughs> what is the show doing? <laughs> oh, but they shrag me with funny beat memes. <laughs> Dearest Princess Celestia, Today I learned that it's hard to accept when Spike's trying to kill that pony! Where's that neck? Though it's impossible to freaking owe me money. It is possible to control your own behavior. Just continue to be a good friend. Do you notice that the way the, the way for Mexico is awfully close to the furnace? Oh, Ronnie! Ban them to the moon! You know, you know, there's a lot of messages. Oh, this one's about pony freedom from dictate. There we go. That was a close one. I almost read it. And if I read it, that means I have to do it. I ain't gonna give ponies their freedom. <laughs> Instead, I'm gonna make sure every single cameraman in this universe gets close-ups on pony ass. Because Mama Celestia is going to be the kingpin of the My Little Ponies porn community. <laughs> I knew you were up to no good, Celestia. I know you're up to no good. You're the real problem here. You knew very well that there were five ponies that could have went to the party, but you only sent one because you knew that if there wasn't controversy, there wasn't a chance to get them sweet ass shots. I say, take out the word sweet. It makes me... Sound like I crave for that sweet boot. I don't. I just, just notice it creeping on me. It's start, it's, it's creeping me out, guys. Creep me out. You know what it feels like? It feels like off camera. It's just a pony butt, slowly getting closer to my face. And sooner or later, like at the end of the season, it's gonna go. <laughs> That's gonna be the end of season one. It's just a giant buttocks. Hitting me in the face with a loud fart. And everyone laugh. <laughs> the world's greatest prank. 
You know how hard it was to fly in a magical pony from another dimension to fart in your face, Ryan? Pretty freaking hard! It's so hard that, you know what? I had to respect it. <laughs> well, folks, that was episode five of My Little Ponies. I guess I should give my actual opinions on it. Um, They did the impossible, folks. An episode where I actually rooted for Pinkie Pie. And you know why? Because she didn't sing. <laughs> that entire episode, my butt was ready to clench for the sing-off. I, I, I was worried. I feel like the pranks made it for me. There was something comical about Pinkie Pie being this crazed prankster that I kind of enjoyed. It made me like Pinkie Pie just a little more. And to be honest, I gotta say, if I didn't watch the cupcake videos, I don't think I'd ever have a reason to truly hate Pinkie Pie. Because Pinkie Pie is that kind of stupid random character in all series that everyone seems to like. Ed. I guess they're all called Ed. E-D- you know, Ed. Stupid character. Patrick. Stupid character. Every series has to have that stupid random character that just kind of has the funny punchlines. I find Pinkie Pie a little more annoying, but I- in this episode, I really didn't. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't find her as annoying as I anticipated. Also, I give them props for making a bully character uh, that wasn't just some weird radical uh, pony. It was a freaking griffin. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect, like, when I started up this episode, I was like, oh, Griffin, what's what's this character gonna be about? Oh, you know, 80s bully. I'm gonna clobber him! And I'm kind of curious if she's gonna come back. Is she gonna, like, join the villains? Or is she gonna be the Vachita of the series, where she's just like, I understand the error of my ways, for I am the only Griffin, and if I don't make friends and breed... You know, it's pretty bad, because, you know, extinction and stuff. But it also made me realize, if you ever want me to hate a villain, you just have to have that person mess with Fluttershy. You don't mess with Fluttershy. I freaking love Fluttershy. And I have to say, with each episode, I'm more and more enjoying it. I actually find the humor has increased, and it's starting to feel like... It's not cringy humor, it's like actually good, well-crafted jokes. Um, like I said in the first one, the jokes were really really bad like spike falling over and they're just like oopsies and you're just like oh oh that was a bad one so i really don't have anything to complain about this episode and i'm absolutely surprised i'm saying this for it was a pinkie pie episode and i feel like the reason it like cooled down because it was also a gilda episode it wasn't purely a pinkie pie episode like applejack's was like it was the whole entire story revolved around Applejack. In this one, it was a Pinkie Pie episode, but Gilda was more of the, the you know, issue. Pinkie Pie wasn't the problem. Gilda was the problem. So I feel like I didn't hate it that much. Though I do find Pinkie Pie creepy because she can, like, teleport everyone. She has the magical power of cartoon. She's the controller of the reality stone from the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh boy, I feel funny. guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did remember to subscribe leave a like down below write a comment on what you like me react to next and of course if you want to see these episodes one week early i have a patreon now if you excuse me folks i'm gonna go shoot a griffin with my dick